Alright. So, what we're going to explain here is we have a circle. This is the equator. Cancer. Capricorn. North. South. If we take an airplane or a helicopter at the Tropic of Cancer, approximately, and take that helicopter and fly straight up, 90 degree turn, or 90 degree angle, straight up, 90 degrees, 90 degrees straight up from Capricorn. If we take a helicopter and if we fly up 1,000 feet, and we fly exactly hmm, 2,000 miles exactly 2,000 miles 2,000 miles due south exactly due south exactly 2,000 miles when we get there we fly up to 10,000 feet 10,000 feet elevation we turn around and fly 2,000 miles exactly due north another 2,000 then we travel 90 degrees up to 20,000 feet and we travel exactly due south 2,000 miles then we go up 20 more thousand to 40,000 feet and travel right back exactly 2,000 miles. Then we land straight down. We are not going to land back in the same spot if the Earth is a globe. Now, we'll say this is our globe example. So that's going to be approximately what would happen because of the perpendicular lines at those spots on a globe. Now if we do the same experiment uh, on a flat, get the helicopter, fly up 1,000 feet, fly due south 2,000 miles. And we stop and we go up to, to 10,000 foot and we travel north 2,000 miles. 2,000 miles north, stop, and we travel up to 20,000 feet. And travel, this is 20,000 feet. 
We traveled 2,000 miles south. We stop after 2,000 miles, we head up to 40,000 feet, if possible. And then we travel back north 2,000 miles. And we land, we will land approximately 10 to 15 miles away from where we started. If that's the case, the earth is flat. Now, if we do the same thing, yeah, we don't need that. Here, Cancer, Capricorn, Equator, North, South, Perpendicular, 90 degrees, Ah, shit. No, forget that. If we go here, here, here. Now, if we're going inside as concave may suggest 90 degrees, 1,000 foot uh, 10,000 foot, 20, 20,000 feet, 40,000 feet. If you travel up 1,000 feet, travel exactly 2,000 miles, assuming here to here is 2,000 miles, if we go up to 10,000 feet, you're going to come 2,000 miles out, then you go up 10,000 or 1,000, yeah, 10,000 feet to 20,000 feet, travel another 2,000 miles, you're going to come outside and go up to 40,000 feet and travel another 2,000 miles and then land. You're going to land outside this original 1,000 or 2,000 mile area that you first started it in, then it would be concave. So, uh, concave, flat, where are we at here? Concave, flat, and globe. This is the original one I came up with. Showing if you hop in a helicopter and fly 90 degrees straight up, 1,000 foot al altitude, fly, I have 1,000 miles, do south exactly, then fly 90 degrees up to 10,000 feet, then fly due north. You know what? You could do all of this with one test. One travel. So you got the globe. You got the equator. 90 degrees. Ninety degrees. So if we took what one thousand feet up to one thousand foot elevation, and if we travel two thousand miles due south, exactly due south, and we stop, we go from 1,000 feet up to 30,000 30, feet, 30,000 feet, and we travel exactly 2,000 miles back, due north, exactly due north, and we land. 
If it's a globe, we will not land anywhere near where we started. However, if we flew, do the same thing, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, fly up 1,000 feet, travel south 2,000 miles, stop, go 90 degrees, or go straight up to 30,000 feet, and we fly back, and if we stop at exactly 2,000 miles, after heading north, and we stop, and we go straight back down and land, and if we're within five miles of where we first started, the Earth is then flat. The same principle goes with concave. Travel up a thousand, travel south 2,000 miles, head up to 35,000 mile elevation, 2,000 miles north, and land. If we are outside of that original 2,000 miles that we started, then the Earth is concave. Does that make sense? Let me know what you think. And uh, I did send this out uh, to uh, Flat Earth Fokker. Flat Earth Fokker received this email, as did Antonio. Subarats. They had the first episode of this, or first. Uh, first idea. I didn't think I would be capable to do a video with uh, with this. This is my first attempt at it. Uh, uh, let me know. Comment. Like, share, subscribe, whatever. My experiment to find out if the Earth is flat, globe, or concave. And it looks like it should be fairly easy to do. You may even be able to do it on an airplane. Uh, set a spot in an airplane to start from. Fly at a low elevation, a uh, thousand feet, and travel two thousand miles south. Travel two thousand miles south, and then mark that location, GPS or something, uh, and then change your altitude to 35,000 or 10,000, however high we can get, then start from that GPS location that we stopped at, head back 2,000 miles north and and see where we end up. It should be considerably different uh, spot we land if it's concave or a globe. See ya.